This is the Sabbath School lesson for the third quarter, 2021. Lesson 13 from the series Rest in Christ is titled The Ultimate Rest. It's ready for teaching on September 25 and I'm Percy Harold. Sunday, September 19. A Vision of the End. The oldest surviving disciple actually to have been with Jesus sat on a rocky prison island far from everything that was near and dear to him. What must have been going on in John's mind as he found himself stranded on this desolate island? How did he wind up there? And like this too. After all, he had seen Jesus leave and he had seen the two angels standing there saying, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Acts 1.11 that, however, had been years and years ago, and Jesus had not yet returned. Meanwhile, the other apostles present on that day already had died, most of them martyred for their witness about Jesus. The young church had undergone a generational change and was now facing horrible persecution from the outside and strange heretical movements from within. John must have felt alone, tired and restless, and then suddenly he was given a vision. What comfort can you imagine that John got from this vision that we read in Revelation 1, verses 9 to 19? I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And what you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the feet and girded about the chest with a golden band. His head and hair were like white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as if refined in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars. Out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun, shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as a dead man. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid, for I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Write the things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which will take place after this. Jesus had told his followers, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, in Matthew 28, 20, words that no doubt must have encouraged John as he faced his lonely exile. Surely this vision, this revelation of Jesus, must have been a great comfort to him, knowing that Jesus, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, was now manifesting himself in a special way to the exiled apostle. What followed from these verses were visions about the future of this world. An awesome panoramic view of history would be portrayed before him. Basically, what's to us the history of the Christian church, but was to him its future? And yet, amid the trials and tribulations that would come, John was shown how it would all end in Revelation 21 verses 1 and 2. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. The great apocalyptic vision John has recorded in Revelation helped John confidently to rest in God's provisions and promises. And so to finish the day... 
Life now can be hard, even fearful at times. How, though, does knowing that God knows the future and that the future long term is good give us comfort now? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. It's supported by the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel Australia and is rebroadcast by Christian Record Services and through podcasts at It Is Written in the United States, Hope Channel Germany and through Apple iTunes and SoundCloud. Remember, God is always faithful.